Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about a data storage architecture. Now, data storage architecture is the database backend that's used in a database application. And basically, you have multiple tables in your database, and the architecture is going to be how do those tables relate to each other, how do they pull information from each other, and how do they rely upon each other. When you build your database architecture, you build it such that, say, you have one table that relies upon an entry in this table, uh, but you want to make sure that that entry exists before you create data in this table. Basically, we create a relationship between the two that requires an entry to exist here before you can add it here. And that is the data storage architecture that's used. Let's go to our computer and I'll show you an example. I have Microsoft Access here and I have a very simple uh, database structure here of employees and addresses. Now every single employee will have an address where they live that points to this table addresses. And as you can see, the address ID field in employees relies upon the ID field in addresses. Therefore, when I create an employee, that employee must already have an address and that address must already have an ID. Basically, this makes sure that the data that I add to employees will stay complete as because the street, city, state, and zip are not here in, these, in this table, they must rely on that uh, record already existing over here. So that's a very, very simple example of a data storage architecture. My name is Dave Andrews, and I've just talked to you a little bit about data storage architectures.